Hi, this is Mike, and in this video I'm going to show you how to take advantage of a really cool new feature we just introduced in our 3.1 update called pop-ups. Pop-ups are quite simply a way to make a hotspot that triggers the appearance of some kind of box or information. In this case, images, could be a caption, could even be a website that loads inside of this box just by tapping a hotspot that turns that on or off. Now you could do this before in MagPlus, but it had to be done in HTML. The great thing we've introduced here is the ability to very simply create these in InDesign. So let me show you how. Here I've got a page out of Outside Magazine. This is their exposure section where they show a big beautiful photo. Now normally they would just put this caption on the A layer so the user could double tap to turn that off and see just this image on the B layer. But maybe I just want somebody to see the image first and have to actually tap a button to bring up the caption. So I'm going to do that using a pop-up. You'll notice when you open up the new 3.1 template, which you can download at magplus.com, that there's three more layers in your layers palette, and that's because each layer now has its own pop-up layer. That's because the buttons that activate the pop-ups can be on any of the three layers, and each of the three layers then has its own pop-up layer associated with it. And pop-ups that are on that layer will take on the same qualities, so a pop-up on the A layer can still be double tapped to be turned off even if it's visible. And pop-ups on the a and B pinned blocks layer can have pinning settings as well, just like all your regular elements. So all the same functions you can do, you can now do with pop-ups. So here I've taken my caption, and instead of having it on the A layer here, I'm going to put it on the A pop-up layer. That means that it's only going to appear when it's actually triggered by a button. When it does appear, I want it to appear kind of down here in the corner. And I've made a little button here that I want people to tap to activate it, so I'm just going to put that on my layout here. Now to turn this into a button, I just click the Add Link button. You'll see that draws my hotspot around it here on my clickable areas layer. But now my hotspot type, instead of a link or jump link, I'm going to make it a pop-up. And to tell it what to do, here in the URL field, I'm going to type pop-up colon slash slash and then the object ID of what I want to pop up. So in this case, I'll call it caption. Now if I zoom back out and I go into my element that I want to pop up, you can see I've given that the object ID of caption. Now note that this thing that I want to pop up is actually a group. Pop-ups can be either a single object or a group of objects. In this case, I've got a couple of text boxes and a shaded box behind it. That's really all there is to it to make a pop-up. So let's fast review and see how this worked. So now you'll see I've got my layout. This and this are still on the A layer, so I can double tap to turn them off completely. When they're visible, if I tap that button, boom, my caption appears. If I tap it again, the caption disappears. Now you'll note over here that in the, pop, in the plugin, under pop-up, I get a choice here called pop-up type, and this is called standard. And that's the way a standard's going to behave. It's going to just appear with no background to it. Let me show you what another type of pop-up is we call a modal. In this layout, I want somebody to be able to tap these goggles and get this larger view, but I don't want them to be sort of surrounded by all this text here. So now I'm, I've got my big group here on my pop-up layer, my B pinned blocks pop-up layer. And I want this to be the hotspot, so I'm going to click Add Link. I'm going to resize my hotspot box so it just covers the goggles. As the hotspot type, I'm going to choose pop-up. And then I'm going to give it the URL of pop-up goggles. As you can see, I've named this group goggles. Now I'm going to drag this in kind of roughly over here because over under pop-up type, I've chosen modal as the pop-up instead of standard. I've chosen to add a close box so that there's a button that somebody can actually tap to close it. And I'm going to choose center on device so it appears just in the center of the, uh, of the screen. Now when I hit fast review, you'll see what this looks like. Now I tap. So a modal you can see grays out the layout behind it, adds a little drop shadow to the box. And in this case, because I've added the close box, I can just tap that to close and get rid of it, tap it again and make it come back. If I take off the Add Close box, now when I bring it up, it's a nice clean box. And to get rid of it, I can just tap anywhere outside of that box, and it makes it go away. One other thing I want to point out about pop-ups is that they can also contain 
a website. So if I go back to my outside layout here, let's say instead of bringing up a caption, I wanted this pop-up to bring up a box that would load a website. So here on my pop-up layer, I'll just draw a box in the middle. I'll select an object type of being pop-up. And note you have to scroll down to find the pop-up here. And under pop-up URL, now I'm going to type in a URL I want to load when this pop-up appears. I can also put an uh, image in this box that will load if the user's offline and it can't load the website. Now I just need to give this the object ID of caption so it matches my button that I've already created over here. And when I hit fast review, you'll see how this works. So now you'll see it loads uh, the box here in the middle. And you can see it's outside's website in the middle here. There's an awful lot of flexibility, things you can do with pop-ups. We're really excited to see what kind of stuff you create. Just for a little inspiration, we've included uh, a sample of this in the new reviewer app and the embedded issue that's in there. You'll see this that shows a few different ways to use it that's a little bit creative. So in this case, rather than just bringing up a little caption, when I tap the pop-up, it brings up a whole other image that covers the entire screen. Here you'll see another example. On this page, we're actually changing the image entirely. And here you see the very standard just bringing up the captions. Tons of flexibility with this stuff. We're really excited to see what you do with it.